it's like deja vu all over again. It was 24 hours ago that I kicked off the last broadcast here. And I said, man, I got a lot of news. It's also incredibly important. I got to calm down and try to go over all this piece by piece today. And I'd say I got a C minus on getting to everything. Barely a passing grade. I must get an A plus today, or at least, you know, I'll try as best I can. The problem is I get so outraged as I go back through the news and information that it's really hard to uh, keep my composure going. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the cockpit of the B-52 bomber uh, with my crew loaded with 100 megaton uh, hydrogen truth weapons, logic bombs, in over globalist uh, controlled areas, dropping just, just, just massive 100 megaton bombs of uh, awakening and enlightenment and truth on people. And the enemy, the enemy is absolutely flipping out across the board. I don't even have time to track it, but I mean, there's got to be 15 news articles a day in newspapers and TV and places just absolutely lying and misrepresenting what we do and what we say. And I expect that because I'm in this to win it. I'm in this to try to find the levers to awaken humanity, to try to turn the tide against tyranny before it gets really bad. Because I live here just like you do. And I'm in it to win it. I'm committed to this 110%. In fact, it's exhilarating to be in this much political and physical danger. And I'm not a thrill seeker overall, but I'm doing this for the right reasons. And my body, my intellect, my gut is saying, good job, buddy. Uh, and I know many of you that fight for basic liberty have that same feeling as well. I mean, this is really living, ladies and gentlemen, when you've got the White House attacking you, when you've got MSNBC absolutely slandering and libeling and trying to damage us, this is what it's all about. Now, that does not mean that I'm not going to strike back because I've got to. The, the premeditated defamation reached a level yesterday. I saw this yesterday evening. We had time to put it on the nightly news that was staggering. They basically say I influence the Boston bombers who basically are patsies, as everyone knows. I mean, even Glenn Beck is saying that. I mean, it's just overwhelming evidence. Uh, and then... They go on to say, I'm deeply racist, and that I'm paid to be racist. The, the panel agrees, including the former head of the RNC, who just three years ago had to resign because of MSNBC, showing how he spent $2,000 a pop on bondage, bondage mistresses or whatever, or, or bondage parties. Uh, and I guess if you, if you can't beat them, join them. I mean, you know. I just can't, I just, it's just unbelievable uh, that this type of stuff is going on. And I'm not even judging Steele that he likes to, you know, go see women dressed up in leather with bullwebs and stuff and we want to each their own. But the point here is that he's lying about me. So, so Steele, and it's clearly all scripted, 100% scripted as they go down the line, almost like in the, the, the um, Superman 2, where the council's convicting Zod and his general and his girlfriend, and they're saying, we will now hear the verdict. Guilty. 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 And then I'm to be sent to the, what is it, the forbidden zone, the phantom zone? I, I mean, this is unbelievable. And so I consider and joke about it. Uh, it's actually incredibly dangerous because they're openly White House run. That's on record. Uh, and sure, they have a diminishing audience, and we're seeing the death throes of the collectivist politically, but they could still really, really pull some rabbits out of a hat. So I'm going to go over all of that uh, today. And then a chilling video at a city council meeting Marine Corps Colonel, Homeland Security Building, Domestic Army. Very powerful video and audio we're going to air. Uh, more meltdowns at the five reactors that are melting down at Fukushima. An incredible Fox News report showing a welfare surfer who has dreams of being a rock star that you and I pay for. It's all coming up straight ahead. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV.
You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday, 15th day of August. 2013 worldwide broadcast. We're going to be live here for the next three hours today. Uh, breaking stocks tumble, scared by quick interest rate spikes. We've been telling you that that is coming. We're going to be breaking that down. Uh, also, Egyptian Islamists target Christian churches in a wave of apparently coordinated attacks in Egypt and across the rest of the Middle, uh, Middle East. The, uh, the uh, Egyptian military responds by mowing them down because the Al-Qaeda group is trying to take over Egypt. And uh, our Pentagon and Obama respond by saying they're going to cut off military aid to the Egyptian military. And they basically say stand down and let Al-Qaeda and the Muslim Brotherhood uh, take over Egypt. This is really the setup for World War III they're trying to have here. I mean, this is, this is off the charts. This is even stuff I can't even believe. It, it, it's so crazy. And the average American doesn't even know this is going on. That our supposed government is putting the most radical Muslims who have fought U.S. troops all over the world directly into Libya, Syria, Egypt, you name it, and are just turning them loose to blow up churches and throw Christians off roofs. I see new videos every day to the point I've almost got... Christian mass murder fatigue, where I'll see a new article by Watson or a new story we've posted on Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com, and I won't even click on it. Watching them take Christians up to the edge of a you know, five-story building and throw them one after another off to their deaths or hack them up with machetes or uh, blow up churches or uh, go into Catholic churches, Orthodox churches, ancient churches, burn them down, blow them up. I mean, I just can't even look at it anymore. And then you turn on MSNBC and it's Obama loves the children. Obama loves Africa. Obama wants you to have free health care as the premiums go up 50 plus percent. As it raises payroll taxes on people making less than $20,000 a year. Uh, as the economy just shuts down as over 50 million people they're announcing this last year are, have already gone on to part time because of Obamacare. Uh, I mean, we're watching the shutdown of America, the globalist scorched earth policy. And I just sit here watching it in absolute horror. And I want to explain something. I, I know the globalist operations. I know how they operate. I know what they do. But now th this is even weirder than I thought they would get this quick. I mean, this is just so naked. And they're having drills and then real operations all over the country where the army just shows up with SWAT teams and sets up checkpoints and starts dragging people out of vehicles and helicopters and are, are crashing in drills. And, and I've got articles today and, and, and police are SWAT teaming people over three inch grass in, in Arlington outside Dallas. That's in mainstream news. And they're SWAT teaming people uh, over unpaid parking tickets and, and just black uniforms everywhere. They're putting up uh, guard towers. I've got news with face scanning cameras everywhere and then admitting that they're preparing for a war i have the state police out of texas but also the state police out of new hampshire i've got several of these articles that i'm going to be going over today in the city council meetings and I have a city police chief as well saying we've got to get armored vehicles because we're preparing for war with the Tea Party and Libertarians actually says that. And they're being honest about it. They're in meetings prepositioning weapons for us. I mean, and then a Marine Corps colonel recently retired, went up and spoke to the council and said, look, I, you know, I've been part of this overseas. This is the pre-deployment. This is a takeover. This is illegal. That video is up on InfoWars.com. And by the way, it is people like him because they've got everybody's number. We've got your number, by the way, globalist who they're going to come and kill with death squads when they try the total coup d'etat takeover. And it will follow with a nuke going off in Dallas or Chicago or Austin or Denver.
By the way, I'm listing cities the CFR have said they think Al Qaeda is going to nuke. That means they're going to nuke and then blame it on their patsies. This is an outside corporate takeover. And when those nukes go off, they're going to blame it on libertarian groups and patriot groups. And it'll be so overwhelming the images of people with their eyes burned out from the nuke going off on the edge of the blast and the giant smoking crater and the civil emergency that's announced with all the grid lined up and ready to go up against the American people that even most libertarians and conservatives will say, ah, I didn't want to believe it, but I guess these talk show hosts were working with them. I guess Obama's got to arrest them. And at that point, folks, if you give in to it, it's going to be a hot takeover and they're going to end up coming and getting you as well. But they're going to wipe out most of the generals, most of the colonels, the retired people they know are patriots. Next, they're going to wipe out the state police who've been given the questionnaires. You know, will you go arrest Christians uh, like they you know, said a few months ago in, in uh, Colorado that freaked out the state police commanders? And, and they went public and said, we were called in and said, are you ready to arrest Christians and gun owners and libertarians? And they were like, is this a joke? And the Homeland Security said, this is not a joke. They were there marking down everybody that wasn't going to go along. I mean, you want front row seats to a takeover, folks. Let me tell you something. That's what Obama Deception 2 is about. I was going to have a little bit of that at the end, saying they might try a military staged event and a coup d'etat. But they've already basically taken over, so they'll probably just want to gut the country, get rid of Obama in a few years, bring in a new puppet. But more and more, the financial collapse they've engineered may catch up with them, and they may go ahead and have to go with the staged event ahead of that. Because I'm seeing all the indicators that they may go ahead and just try to keep Obama in office, okay? And, and I want to explain something to you. I told my crew this last night. At about uh, 6.30, right before the nightly news, I'm, I'm standing around with some of the TV crew, and I said, you know why MSNBC has come out and said I'm basically behind the Boston bombing, and that I am a, quote, deep racist. And they had the former head of the RNC agree with them. <clears throat> it's because we've got their number, folks. We've got their number we know them better than they do because they're all compartmentalized, kind of wicked, lazy people on average. The, the low-level and mid-level, even high-level people are not master controllers. We've reverse engineered their whole program, gone and read all the white papers. We know what their program is. Most of these globalists work five, six hours a day, go play golf, have mistresses, party all day long. I mean, they're very decadent slobs, okay? And so the system does not like my broadcast because this is open humet organic intelligence network that's telling it like it is. And we're blowing their cover within the Pentagon and within the CIA, FBI, private corporations. People are all sitting around. We can see the traffic coming in, but I've talked to countless military officers, and they're all openly with earpieces listening to the show right now. They all know what's happening. They're watching everything I'm saying on the outside. The tumblers going into place where they're at going, oh, yeah, yeah. And then they're giving us even more information. And they're starting to go public and leak info. They see what's going on, folks. Military is meeting all over the country, former and current, saying, what are we going to do about this? And, and, and we do not need a counter coup, folks, preemptively. We need to expose the plan for a false flag to be blamed on real Americans, people that have basic American values and are not lazy pieces of filth. Those of us that have not been successfully psychologically destroyed by this high-tech psych warfare are the enemy. Because we're all that's left, folks, from capturing the nuclear weapons uh, and even more advanced uh, directed energy weapons, particle beam weapons, uh, fission fusion, uh, antimatter weapons. The, the, the Air Force has admitted they have, but d details are classified. Yeah, I mean, they were making A-bombs in the 40s, folks. They, don't, they got a little bit more than that now. They got stuff will blow up the whole solar system, according to my intel. So the point here is, is that you got crazy globalists that want control of all that fully. Bioweapons that'll kill 98% of people, and that's old stuff, 30 years old. They got stuff that kills everybody, reportedly. And, 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 and you got a bunch of crazies that want full control of that. And... Uh, there are a lot of people now in the military seeing that they're being replaced with robots, seeing that they're being replaced with computers, seeing that police departments are getting rid of their police everywhere, only having rapid reaction paramilitary forces 
backed up by helicopters and they're going to phase out the regular beat cop and have cameras give the tickets and surveil. They're putting up these command towers all over the country, uh, laying off half the police forces on average in these cities. You're going to be out of a job, too. I mean, this is the total end of humanity if they're able to get this program rolling. And it's because I understand this and you understand this, that we're the enemy. And, and let me just tell the globalists something. We have you in check and you know that. You can kill me tomorrow. And my conscience is clear that I was not part of this. Okay? I will not be part of what you're doing to people. I will not passively go along with this or, or back off just because I know I'll be destroyed if I don't. I have sworn on the altar of God to go 110% against the enemy. And I just pray that I'm up to do the, you know, as good as I can into the face of this. But I told you folks, they're lining up against us right now. They're opening up. The Pentagon has announced domestic operations uh, in PSYOPs against the American people. That's freaking out the people in the Pentagon realizing just how evil this is. Uh, they're going to go to private contractors with disinfo operations. It's going to get crazy. And let me tell you something, folks. If they gun me down in my yard or say I get carjacked, I predict within 48 hours of being killed, you're going to see a nuke go off or a bioweapon released. And they're not just going to kill me. They're going to go wipe out a bunch of military officers. They're going to wipe out a lot of FBI agents. Just listen, folks. They'll probably kill Ron Paul. You'll just see everybody start getting killed or arrested. If they'll do it 24 to 48 hours out. They're not going to want us running around when all this goes down. They're going to try to cut off the communications as well. So understand, this is not a game. This is not a joke. And you notice who they're coming after front and center. Infowars. Because we've got their number. We know who they are. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.